This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, we got to see a lot of looks last night on the red carpet at the Met Gala. Now, the theme this year was Gilded Glamour. That is for the Gilded Age in New York, dating back from 1870 to 1880, paired up with the 2021 theme of American independence. They're saying it's a, par- a two-part exploration of fashion in the United States. So some of the amazing looks on the red carpet. I have to say, I loved Cardi B's look. Her dress was amazing, and she was with Donatella Versace. And as you know, Lala was one of the hosts on the red carpet. Lala Here mm-hmm. is what Cardi B had to say. I already came to us forward, which is me rocking this dress, showcasing it for Miss Donatella. And thank you so much, and happy birthday. Thank you. And, you know, I love the theme. I feel like a lot of fans didn't get... I feel like a lot of fans don't get the theme because they think like it's like gilded. It's supposed to be like like an era, but gilded is gold, it's regal. It could be any era from it. All right. Now, other people who I thought looked amazing, from what I've seen so far, Janelle Monae uh, looked incredible. I saw Gunna. Gunna look cool on the red carpet, too. Chloe Bailey looked really, really dope. Um, other people that we saw, Nicki Minaj was there looking great. Also, Anderson Pack was there, and he's always a good time. And you look absolutely phenomenal. Talk to me about this look. Thank you, love. It's Gucci from head to toe. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, very, it's giving very East London, actually. <laughs> yeah, I feel great. I used to shop at Burlington Coat Factory. I don't know if you heard of that, but now I'm Gucci <laughs> from head to toe, and this is great to be here. Another person who absolutely killed it, Lizzo. I don't know if y'all saw Lizzo's look. Absolutely amazing. She was playing the flute, right? She had the flute with her? Listen, I, I just saw her dress and what that was looking like. That was really mm-hmm. dope. I saw Future had on a tux with some shorts. Yeah, he had a short uh, shorts with tux. I seen uh SZA. What y'all be SZA, seeing is that the Met Gala come on TV or something? Uh, yeah, they had the red carpet. So it's on, I think it's on, is it on E? Mm. But the red carpet, you can see. And of course, there's pictures everywhere. So when you look online, yeah, I saw you know, that's the main thing around. is everybody uh, talking about the pictures. And that's what Lala was hosting. Now, mm-hmm. uh, another person who was there, Chris Jenner. Uh, spoke for the first time after the family won the defamation trial against Black China, so there were no damages awarded to Black China. As you know, she was trying to get a hundred million dollars. That was her lawsuit. Well, it's a shame that Black China still got to pay her attorneys because they did her dirty in that case. Here's what Chris Jenner had to say: I'm just happy it's over. Yeah. What was the toughest part? Um, going through it, you know. But I'm glad it's over. And how did you get through it? How do you get through it mentally? pray. I, I, I live in my faith and just hope that, you know, that's enough. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's over. And I'm glad it's over for the girls. So yeah. And we're here tonight to celebrate. So yeah. He should have asked praying to who. I just want to make sure. I just want to know. I just want to know see, who exactly she's praying to. I just want to know. I see Kid Cudi had a cape on. He was, uh, it seemed like he was, uh, he had a blue cape or royal blue. I seen Russell Westbrook had a kilt on. Mm-hmm. I well, salute to everybody who attended the Met Gala last night in New York City. Now y'all can finally eat. Okay, you've been starving yourself for weeks <laughs> just to fit in your dresses and your suits and everything else. You had your clothes laid out for a whole week like it was the first day of school. Now you can finally breathe. No more corsets, no more waist trainers. And when I'm talking about waist trainers, I'm talking to the men. Well, Kim Kardashian lost 16 pounds to fit into her dress. It was a Marilyn Monroe dress at the Met Gala. So she said, I'm so honored to be wearing the iconic dress that Marilyn Monroe wore in 1962 to sing happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy. It is a stunning, skin-tight gown adorned with more than 6,000 hand-sewn crystals by costumier Jean-Louis. So that's what she was wearing. All right, now let's discuss Young Thug. He was on social media, and he doesn't feel like, man, if y'all broke, y'all don't need to be having no kids. God need to set some rules, bro. We need new rules. We need new oath, bro. If you did broke, if you a broke... You should not be able to because you bringing poor kids into this world. You making <laughs> drugs and killing still because you running around with no, oh, with no type man. of career, no nothing. Having kids. Now your kids growing up won't. Your kids growing up looking at Thug and his game. I think what Young Thug is saying is priorities matter. 
He I think said you gotta it a little have, wrong. Yeah, he I think said you gotta it, have he your, said it harsh. You gotta have your priorities in order. I mean, a lot of he people. Said it harsh. A lot of people do feel like that before they have kids. They want to make sure that they're financially stable. Life right? doesn't always work that way. Though, it doesn't. But but it's not like a lot of people don't feel that way. They do feel like they want to be financially yeah, stable you would before love they to. have kids. People want to be financially stable before they get married, before they have kids. I've heard a lot and, of people and, say, "I want to wait till my finances are in order." And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing However, you soon might have to, regardless of your financial status, have kids if the Supreme Court does. Uh, decide to overturn Roe versus Wade. Because That's you a should, good topic we, for next hour, though. They, it's not whether they decide. They're going to do it. But you should, we, we, we should, uh, that is a good topic because it is a, a, a great conversation because it is right. something to think about, right? Like, because if you can't even really take care of yourself, how well, you going to take care of kids? Ab- absolutely. Like, that's just a common sense which, thing. Which is true. If you can't take care of yourself, you, you can't barely feed yourself, you can barely feed your rent. You know, having a rent be even more difficult. That rent do be eating, though. Don't <laughs> act like that rent don't be eating. Yes, that it rent does. be eating your pockets up. So, I yeah. mean, it's, it's, a lot of us were born in the struggle, though, to our parents that didn't have much and somehow made it work. So, shout out to all the parents out there that are doing that. No doubt. Because sometimes you don't even know what your situation will be. For a lot of women out there, you know, they get pregnant, they think the man's going to be there, and then they're not. It could be vice versa as well. So sometimes some you, people know their predicament. They know where they at. They know how their pockets look. They know they can't pay the rent. They know they they they're effed up, and they know they're living off the government. And to have more kids, that makes life a little different for the difficult for those kids. I just don't think it's anything wrong with thinking about it. If you know that you are not yes, in a position a financially to take care of a child, maybe you should wait until you have some children. Like it's really not that difficult. I mean, wait till you have some money. Wait till you have some money. Yes. Yeah. It's really not that difficult. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. It's a great conversation for next hour. We got front page news next. Yes, remember we talked about this Alabama corrections officer who was last seen with a man who was held on murder charges, and uh, apparently now they're saying there's a warrant out for her arrest because she was not being held against her will according to uh, reports and what they believe. All right, we'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 